What's up, people? You're inside the maze with your boy. Will you know, no, 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 notes? Yo no cambié. Fue mi vida la que cambió. Ahora vivo como quiero. La forma fue la que me llamó. Yo no cambié. Fue mi vida la que cambió. Ahora no hay tiempo para dormir. No es culpa mía que ya no pueda salir. Ay, so Willie Notes. Um, I grew up in Chelsea. Um, been doing R&B and a little bit of everything, mostly R&B and reggaeton music. When I first started doing music, I was probably at the age around 13 is when I kind of started singing. And what, what got me into it mainly was, well mainly my, my dad used to always be in, around the house and stuff singing um, salsa. I used to always listen to it, like Frankie, Frankie Irui, um, Jerry Rivera. And little by little, I just kept, kept it to myself, but like I had like that thing, like I'm like, man, like I like the way I sing, but I never, never showed it out there. And then one time I have four cousins that do music too. And they would always be, they would always be like freestyling. So um, I used to always listen to them. I'm like, man, like I feel like doing it too. And one day I got up and started freestyling with them. And they were like, yo, you could sing. And then right there, that's when I'm like, oh shit, like I'm gonna do this. And I kept going from there. So that was probably around the age like 13, 14. And then I started taking it serious around the age of 14, 15. I started writing my own music and doing like parties, sweet for teens. And then, um, then after that, I did some competition called Estrellas de Reggaeton. And there I, I met a lot of people like from Boston. That's when I, were, I, I met like mad heads that were doing like reggaeton and stuff too. And from there, I started doing featurings, going to studios, and then after that, I met this record label called Rima Records, and um, they were interested in working with me, so I started doing music with them, and they were actually the ones that kind of like put me out there and started getting me shows. I started opening for big reggaeton artists, and um, I was with them for a few years, and then the guy that owned the company moved to Puerto Rico, so then from there, I kept doing my own thing, and then I met, um, I know a lot of people know him, it's Lou Armstrong from the Hitmakers, and he basically took me on and started putting me out there again, he did a few mixtapes for me, and then after that, like, I just went my own way, and ever since then, I've just been doing my thing, writing music, got my own setup, basically, I, I taught myself how to do everything, like, I, I wasn't waiting for people to to do it for me, I just taught myself how to write, sing, do beats, record myself, mix, and all of that. I was a duo with Silos, and we did our thing together for for a while. And then um, I just felt like like some like at some points we weren't on the same page. So I felt like I was like being held back a little bit. So, I mean, we, we still, still cool, we still talk and everything, but I just decided to go my own way. I started doing my own thing. I feel like, like local artists need like more, more like exposure out there. Like there's a lot of, a lot of radio stations that, even DJs that could be helping out the local artists and I feel like, like they don't do it. Like, I feel like they, they could be helping out more. I don't know, that's, that's one of the things that I'd be thinking about. And like, if DJs or radio stations were to help, out, help us out, like, local artists will have, like, get out there more. That's what I mean. I mean, the one that I prefer and always enjoy doing the most has been R&B. But I feel like, um... When I do like party tracks, like reggaeton mixed with like R&B kind of, that's when I get the most most reaction. But I do a little bit of everything: salsa, reggaeton, bachata, merengue, R&B, trap, so mix with everything. What the most reaction you get when you do R&B? Like R&B and sometimes like the party tracks too, like dance hall.
I feel like a few like a few years back was kind of like not a lot of people were trying to work together but I feel like it's gotten better now like, like for example Maze Radio has been helping out a lot for local artists and I've been seeing a lot of people networking more than before so I, I, feel, I feel like it's been a little bit better I have to say KZ is one of them um Chino, Lassacino, Kev Young, he's nice too. Ray D, Ray D's doing his thing. King Julius is a beast too. I think I'd say those right now. Okay. And I feel like they're the, the ones making the most like buzz out there right now. So this is my artist as well as my daughter, Benny Lee's Ann. She's seven years old. And she's been doing music the first time i actually recorded her she was two and a half and it was a cover song that she did to um you are my sunshine and ever since then she's fallen in love with music she's a uh, natural basically i feel like um every time i'll be in the studio and making beats she will be right after me and just she'll just chill there or start dancing or start singing like trying to sing the songs and then from there I'm like she actually sounds like she's gonna have like a voice so then from that so that's why I um, did the, the cover song for her and I'm like oh snap like you can actually sing and then from there we just kept going The Happy World one. The Happy World one? Yeah, so she has a song called Happy World, and that's um, actually the first collaboration she did with somebody out of state. It's a little 10 year old um, called Lil Halo from North Carolina. And the song is basically talking about like telling people that whenever you wake up, just always have keep a smile in your, in your face, that a smile could change somebody's day. Wow. And um, I know that you have a song on TikTok that has is going viral which one is that one um the popcorn one the popcorn yeah. one and how do you feel seeing that reaction happy and excited oh, happy and excited <laughs> what was let us know what was your exact reaction when you seen it going viral <laughs> <laughs> that's a good reaction yeah <laughs> that's exactly what I she said <laughs> she was like where do you see yourself in five years? You, you think you're gonna be fame, rich and famous? You're gonna buy daddy a mansion? No. <laughs> no, you don't know? How do you feel about music? You love it? Yeah. Awesome. And what are you working on now? Um, we're yeah, working a few songs. on a summer song. It's a song, it's a song called Summer. I love summer. Um, but we already have it done, but we're gonna release it um, right when summer's getting close. And she actually is actually featuring that little girl too. Um, and then she has another song called Bubble Gum and um, Clap Your Hands. Sing, sing something for the in the happy world. Sing one of your favorite ones. Let the people know which what what which one's your favorite, and let them know. Give them a little snippet of it. Every time you wake up. Put a smile on your face Every time you wake up Put a smile on your face Cause we need a happy world We need a happy world Hey! <laughs> okay, so are you um, working on an album for her or are you just yeah, releasing she, singles right now? She actually has a... She actually has a few tracks that are almost done but we're working on, a, on her album is going to be called Benny's World Benny's World yeah, that's gonna be your name. And uh, I see, are you doing a YouTube? Did I see that? Um. Yeah, she, you have your own channel. Yeah, I have my own channel. What's it called? Benny's World. Benny's World. <laughs> you want to spell it exactly for the people? B E N Y. In World, right? Yeah, Benny's <laughs> World. She's not looking at. That's the cover of the 
Das oh ja. <lacht> <lacht> okay, okay. My musical influences, I'd have to say. Growing up, I used to listen to a lot of, a lot of Usher, Usher and Casey and JoJo, all those like R&B classics. I think those were the best. Casey and JoJo, um, Boys to Men. But man, I listened to a lot of Usher though growing up. And um, Latin. Latin. I think the ones that I that I was like, these guys are good. It was um, Signing Lennox. I think those are the main ones that like influenced me. What do you want to consider yourself? A lot of people um, say that having too many genres can confuse people. Uh, do you want to keep going with that, or are you focusing more on one genre? It's hard because sometimes I, I try to do that, like just focus on one, but then you'll hear a beat and you're like, "Damn, that beat's hard." So I, I'll just consider myself for right now I'm urban. urban land. Okay. You want to say where they can find you? Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> go, go. So for Benny, you could, um, you could find her also on all major platforms. Uh, Benny Lee's Ann. And on YouTube is Benny's World. And make sure you go check out her latest track, Happy World, featuring Little Halo. Yeah.